day during Derek's career, 2018, the International Defense Exhibition near Seoul in South Korea, there is a live demonstration performed by the South Korean Armed Forces. It's an opportunity for all the visitors to see all the latest military equipment in use and in service by the South Korean Armed Forces. Before the attack, the battalion commander is ordering the deployment of a UAV to scout the enemy. The UAV's flying range is above 10 kilometers. He can also fly silently and carry out his mission at night. The armored cavalry vehicle and a person's small tactical vehicle are approaching to lead the reconnaissance team during the attack operation. The small tactical vehicles used mainly for reconnaissance are created by lengths of the company or below. The small tactical vehicle is able to protect its passenger from the attack of firearms because the body and glass are all bulletproof. The maximum speed of the vehicle is 135 km per hour and can reach 0 to 100 km per hour in 20 seconds. All of the small tactical vehicles shown currently have long flat tires developed with domestic technologies. This tire allows the vehicles to travel at the speed of 48 km per hour even without air inside the tires. The reconnaissance team in the small tactical vehicle has spotted the enemy and requested artillery firepower. The K9 self-propelled artillery, which can destroy the enemy at a long distance with the strongest firepower, is approaching. The K9 self-propelled artillery is able to fire 155mm ammunition with a maximum range of 40 km. Transport vehicle is approaching to replenish the ammunition of the K9. Through an automatic conveyor, highly explosive shells are transferred to the K9. One shell of the 155mm ammunition has a weight of 48.7 kg. Originally, the reloading was processed by manpower. But after the development of the K10, much time and effort has been saved by its completely automatic system. The K10 can carry a total 100 full rounds, and in just 50 minutes, all the necessary ammunition can be replenished for a single K9. The armored vehicle leading the armored core is attacking. has higher accuracy rate and a higher aircraft ability. Among all 25-ton armored vehicles, it is the only vehicle in the world that can float across water. The wheel type armored vehicle, which transports the infantry, is used for close combat, protecting important facilities and rear area operations. Obstacle breaching tank and the AVLB are maneuvering to overcome the obstacles. The 
used to overcome obstacles by installing a bridge. The bridge takes 5 minutes to construct and 10 minutes to withdraw. It can carry a maximum of 63 tons worth of equipment through a 20.5 meter wide river. Obstacle breaching tank, which has a landmine removal plow attached to the front of the vehicle, can clear landmine areas 3.8 meters wide and create a pathway for our forces to mobilize. An enemy aircraft was spotted targeting the friendly engineering team. To suppress the enemy aircraft, the Flying Tiger and the Pegasus are moving forward. Pegasus on the right can detect and shoot down targets within a maximum of 20 kilometers at an altitude of 5 kilometers. The Flying Tiger is a cutting-edge aerial defense weapon. This radar can detect a maximum radius of 21 kilometers and a maximum altitude of 3 kilometers. The K1A1 tank is equipped with a 120mm smoothbore cannon, a 12.7mm machine gun, and two 7.62mm machine guns. The body and turret of the tank can rotate by 360 degrees. Therefore, wherever an enemy appears, the tank can change its direction and fire instantly. The K1A1 has secured a pre-planned position the K2 tank is initiating a passenger blind by the cover of the K1A1. The latest model of Korean tanks, the K2 tank is approaching. The K2 tank is able to control its position for firing on diverse terrains. The position controlling function is able to improve the accuracy of fire when the vehicle is on rough terrain such as an incline. K2 is also equipped with a 120mm smoothbore cannon. Different from the K1A1, the K2 can fire faster by automatically loading ammunition. Also, the K2 tank can cross all rivers in Korea because it can submerge under 4.1 meters of water. Initiating a maneuver in depth for a passage of lines, the K2 tank is overcoming a rough and inclined terrain. The engine of the K2 tank is equipped with 1,500 horsepower, 300 horsepower greater than the K1A1 tank, thus can rotate faster. Additionally, the highest speed of the K2 is 70 km per hour, which is 10 km per hour faster than the K1A1. The side of the vehicle where the LED is lighting up is a reactive arm. Recovery tank and armored people carry out maintenance and salvage missions. The K1 recovery tank is towing the damaged K1A1. the main enemy forces at a long range, the next generation multiple rocket launcher, the Unicorn, supports the armored unit by firepower. The Unicorn is an armament that focuses on prompt striking and destroying dense armored core targets at a great distance. Upon firing, one shell of the Unicorn can disperse 300 sub-missiles of steel rain, which can destroy an area the size of about three soccer fields. The Unicorn has the ability to shoot various types of firearms, such as the Dispersion Guided Rocket, the Highly Explosive Guided Rocket, and the 227mm and 130mm Unguided Rockets. 